What is going on, my little people, and welcome back. Yes, yeah, back to another reaction video. This one's gonna be a little bit longer because we have a whole episode of something to react to. Granted, I've seen a good majority of the episode, both on the cutting room floor and also when it was released. But the thing is, uh, this Power Rangers Jim Paladin, uh, I thought was going to be a series, it ended up being a fan film with several spin offs that are coming out with it. Um, However, the thing is, with that, um, when they uploaded the whole episode to YouTube, they got a copyright issue with it, so they had to take part of it down. And so they uploaded the whole thing to their to their own website. So, Zenith the Films, look, man, I'm, I'm ready to jump into this. I'm ready to see what happens. I have watched the two-thirds of the, the episode, but we'll re-watch it anyways, uh, just so... Y'all who haven't seen it can get an idea of what's going on. Um, Justin's already given me the permission to do it. Um, so we're going to jump into this. I'm excited. <clears throat> Yo, Jarvis. Thank you. Um, so let's just jump into it. Here we go. This is going to be a little loud in my ears, so I already see it. Yeah. That's loud. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's try it again. No! Alright, we'll just have to deal with it. Jim Paladins, we have the strength to save the world. Rangers, <laughs> Jim Paladins, we have the strength to save the world. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, hold on. Can I pause it? Pause real quick. First off, I want to say, I also talked to the guy who made the song. Um, we were talking and it, it clicked in my brain a couple of days ago. I'm like, wait a minute. Because he, he was like, we based it off the Samurai theme. And I'm like, wait a minute. This sounds more like Dino Fury. Uh, no, Dino Charge. Sorry. So I was like, this. With a world full of strife, we must fight to survive. Something like that. Try to break the chains that divide. Like that's what it reminds me of. But <laughs> it's a you. Good morning, Stone Canyon. The weather is about 78 degrees, and there's only been one monster sighting this week. So it's been a pretty good week so far. Wouldn't you say so, Diane? That's right, Tom. It's because of the rangers that my kids can sleep soundly at night. Ah. Fantastic, Diane. Seems the Power Rangers have been doing a fantastic job of keeping our city safe. We're hoping they can keep it up until Jotunheim is done for. Here's to you, Power Rangers. No way, Tony. Do you want the next round? Why even bother? You know he's going to sit there and daydream. I wasn't ready, Amber. Sounds like a you problem, Jules. Are you okay? It's, uh... Tony? The battle is lost. Give up. I've decided it isn't. I'm going to destroy you for what you did to me. So long as you breathe, you obey me. Let's end this. I'll avenge every life you force me to take. Tony, we got a bail. What about Crystal? Nah. They'll never stop leading you. So long as you keep living. 
No. <laughs> ah, I keep doing the wrong thing. Hold on. <laughs> so real quick, um, this was a, a note I had when I watched it originally. Um, this is more of a production note than anything with the story, but it's more of like just bring the vocals down just a little bit, like on those screamings, because Crystal, like, it sounded like she almost peaked the mic just a little bit, um, and, and you don't want to differentiate. I mean, <clears throat> my bad. You, 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 yeah, you don't. You don't want to like make the dub audio sound too different from the camera audio that you're using or the boom audio that you're using for your um, your out of suit moments. Uh, so, and that is the one thing. Uh, audio wise that I hear is there is a difference between the dub and the actual live filming is there is there is a difference and um, I think Justin and I did talk about this uh, about adding room tone to it which I, I it sounds a hundred times better than when I first heard it when they were still editing it um, but it's just those peaks now it's just kind of like find a way to maybe not so much compress the vocal but definitely bring it down to where it's not peaking the speakers but um, or the ears, but that's that is the only note that I really have. I'm I, as you can tell, I'm already giddy from watching it. Let's continue. You're thinking of Crystal again, aren't you? I have literally no idea if she's alive. By the way, real quick, Jade, I have it. Um, Justin, who plays Tony, um, looks very much like my friend Daniel. I have not told him that yet, but he looks very much like my friend Daniel. Uh, it's crazy. Um, same facial expressions and everything. I've heard from her since, since the Megazord blew up in our faces and she vanished. None of us have heard from her. Also, no, real quick. Where the flip did they come? They were outside fighting. There, there was... <laughs> I, remember, I remember watching the first time. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were outside. I never heard a door shut. Did they walk in during they had to have walked in during the, the flash, but um I was just I was just kinda like yellow and green are in there all of a sudden. When did they walk in? <laughs> Maybe it's better that we just give her a space. I don't know, man. I'm kinda with Tony on this one. I mean what if she's really not okay. We cross that bridge when it comes back. Or maybe we find the bridge and we ask it. Except none of us know where she is. Yeah, Cyrus, it looks like we might have our answer. Let's move. I also love the fact that Saba's up on the wall. And we got a lightsaber over there. And another blaster. So far, I couldn't tell what that was. Um... I am not nitpicking. Uh, I am, I am legit enjoying this. There are just some things that I'm like, oh, it would be cool if they would have done this. Uh, so the jackets, rather than just being up on the mantle, uh, and may maybe that's kind of in the character. It's like we just kind of throw our jackets. But like, um, I like it when they're a little bit more uniform. And so like, uh, like not uniforms they like all look the same, but uniform as in like they're they're kept nice. Um, so if they would have maybe hung them up on the mantle uh, or had some like kind of like how they had in light speed. Um, I think that would have been cooler um, rather than them just kind of all being like thrown up on uh, the mantle of the fireplace because uh, <laughs> that's more of like, oh, okay, we're done for the day. Oh, crap. Where's my jack? Because <laughs> because no, that'd be, that'd be funny, too, if there was a ranger who was like, oh, yo, where's my jacket at? They're like, we all threw it in that pot. Yeah, it's not in the pile. And it's like it, it's a, in the laundry. I got put in the laundry. That, that would be hilarious. Not for this, but it would just be hilarious to see, like, when there's, like, a, a, a special ranger thing they have to wear, like a uniform, and one of them can't find it. Did that happen? Did that happen? If that happened, the only one it would have to be is light speed. And I feel like there was an episode with Joel, but I don't think I've got that right. Anyways, let's continue. He says it's here. So where's the party? Everyone, stay on your toes. What are you seeing, Si? That guy over there. So, so okay, that was something else too. I I didn't understand. Um, they all showed up, and and Tony asked Cyrus like, "What does he see?" 
And I'm like, they're all looking the same direction. So like for me, it's, it's, uh, the Cyrus have the ability to kind of see what's actually happening. A little, a little more like clairvoyance to the situation, um, is that a gift that his power gives him? Um, that was just something I, I found a little odd, but nothing big. It's just like, just something I kind of want, like, was there a reason why, since we're all looking the same direction, why does Cyrus pinpoint a little bit more information than anybody else? Sorry, buddy. Watch where you're going. You ran into me. Oh. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I think they're gnomes. What? You don't say. I don't know. The guy with the knife seems pretty cool. Okay. What? No. Nice. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, bra broke next. You gotta give it the editing though, man. Like, it, and just the, uh... Hold on, I gotta see this. I love this, I love this fight. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> So you, you got to give it to what they've done. Uh, and I know I keep stopping and whatnot. Because I, I, I want to address this. Um, for one, is somebody who is, in my mind, becoming somewhat of an acquaintance, uh, an acquaintance to the group. And number two, as a fellow Ranger fan, and number three, someone who has made a fan film before, ours was not anywhere close to this caliber, and, and I'm enjoying it. Um, but it takes a lot of work. It, it, like for us, we, I think we had, uh, about two or three weeks, maybe a month of fight training before we started filming. And we only had, uh, two fight scenes in our film. Um, and it was, one of them was a one-on-one. -on -one, the other one was, uh, sorry, three, I guess you, one, of, one of the fight scenes got split in half. So I guess three fight scenes, one of them's a one-on-one. -on -one, um, the other one is a three-on-one -on -one, and the other one was a one-on-one. -on -one. So we didn't have a whole lot we had to do in ours, but this, like, you have to make sure that everyone knows what they're doing. Even the ones who are playing the gnomes, like, everyone has to be in sync when it comes to stunt. And, uh, hold on. What was that? Bruh. 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 Sorry, <laughs> to continue, um, but it, it takes a lot. You have to, what was, what was I saying exactly? Um, Justin and I were talking about what, I think he said like two weeks, everyone had to learn their fight choreography, and as you can tell, like, I've seen fan films where the fight choreography is like, oh, we're just going to make it up right then and there, kind of what they did on the show, but this is very much, you could tell that they had some sort of choreography, that they had some sort of training, even if it was only two weeks. Um, and they utilized that. Um, he also told me that he and uh, the actor who plays the Yellow Ranger, I can't remember the, Jules, is that the Yellow Ranger's name? And uh, his name in real life is escaping me right now. Um, but uh, they were the two martial artists on set. 
and um, they're the ones who basically trained everybody to do it. And and it it shows. It shows there was work. And and I I really I really have to applaud them for the amount of time that it took them to you know two weeks. They taught them this fight scene. There's definitely another one. Uh, I think at the end of the end the end of the episode but yeah um it's great it's they're putting on a lot of work so i want to i want to make it clear that i'm not nitpicking anything i am legit just being like hey this could have been added or maybe fix this but i i love i love the project i love the product and i love the work put into it so Sound design is killer too. Like they hit it. Right here, you would expect Tony to go like, "Let's go." It's morphin' time, right? Nah, they go right back to it. <laughs> the Paladins, man. <laughs> so, you're the Power Rangers, huh? Honestly, I expected better color coordination. Hey, my girlfriend made these. Yo, bro. Take care of them. And if the silver one shows, keep them alive for Master Ophelius. You think of time? Ready? There we go. Morphin' time! That also was something that was different from the edit version, too, or like while they were editing. And I should have thought of that. But I was watching it, and I was like, they they still had the uh, Sentai actors in that spot, rather than like uh, editing it to where their heads are there. So I was like, okay, so we're we're just gonna, I mean, we'll just ignore that. Um, and then when I saw the actual <laughs> cut, I was like, they fixed it, they fixed it. It looks amazing. I love it. I love it. Also, the fact I want to I want to point that out too. They got five Kira Major morphers, five. Uh, and then the sixth one. Uh, for the silver so it was just kind of like man they put they they put some money into this and um that shows the fact that you got those morphers and you didn't just like we're gonna use a uh, power morpher or like oh we can't afford anything so we're going to get an infinity gauntlet and that becomes the morpher actually that'd be you know how cool of a morpher this would be side side note just side note this being the morpher and you being <laughs> it's morpher time yeah, you know, and like, like Iron Man's down your arm. Uh, my point, my point is, uh, my point is just that <laughs> uh, they put a lot of effort into it uh, to make it a, a good adaptation. Yep, right there. Let's just kind of go back to my my point with the earlier dub. Um, 
the dubbing for me is just a little bit too loud, a little bit too harsh to the ear. Um, so I would, in a future project, I would definitely bring them down just, just a little bit. Try to find a way, compare them. Listen to your live audio and then listen to the dub audio and try to level them out at the same space. Um, that is what I would recommend. Um, that, that's the tweak I would give. Everything else, keep it. Keep it. I love it. I love it all. Throw his jacket away. <laughs> Whoa, that looks familiar. Oh, oh my god, I can't stand these things. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. You good? Yeah, thanks. Out of the way! I don't have time for you guys! Uh, Out of the way! I don't have time for you! <laughs> Yellow is clearly the barbarian of the group. Seems like you could use some help. I know they're all paladins, but. Are you all right? Yeah, thank you. No problem at all. Oh, and remember, look both ways before you cross the street and watch out for monsters. You get home safe. Hey, hold up. God, so pretty. Hey, can we just? You know how messed hey, up it is. Hold work? on, hold on. What is that? How mess messed up it is that. The footage that Zenith Films brings out looks so much better than the Sentai. So much better than some stuff PR does. It's it's wild to me that this fan project can produce better looking video um, than these shows that have budgets on them. Just my opinion. That's just my thought. Um, but like I was saying... <laughs> Yellow is definitely a barbarian mentally. Uh, I would I would give blue maybe more like a wizard mindset. Definitely give pink a cleric mindset. Green I don't quite know about yet. Um, maybe a rogue, maybe a rogue mindset, and then give Tony um, definitely more than likely a fighter mindset, and then uh, Crystal who is silver. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who she would be. I don't know. There to talk about. Let's start with why you never came back and told us you were okay. We're supposed to be a team, Crystal. Oh, so I'm a part of your crew now? You know nothing about me. Uh. <laughs> so maybe uh... we should go back to the home base now. Uh, Sai, Jules. Getting the transportation ready, please. Why do I have to get it? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm not staying. I saw trouble. I came. I did my job. And now I'm leaving. Listen, we can figure this out. We can figure what out? You're right. We don't know what happened to you. But we want to know. <gasps> oh. Oh, this song and dance again? I've heard this so many times. First the new team of rangers wants to come to recruit me and then they learn all about my dark past and the atrocities I've committed and blah, 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 blah. But then they shun you, don't they? Every single time. I'm used to it now though. Sounds more like she's got a stick up her ass she needs removing. Hey, see, she gets it. Crystal, we know your past. We know why you went into exile. Could you, could you please just tell us what happened? Fine. I've been a ranger for a really long time. A really, really long time. I was a part of the first generation. 
Unlike you five, who keep getting to pass your powers down over and over again, I never got to. I fought Ophelius one-on-one, -on -one, and I lost. And then he slaughtered the entire royal family. My family. And I quite literally couldn't do anything about it because everyone thought I'd helped him and blamed it on my powers because they were so different to begin with. So no one wanted them. Everyone who lined up to succeed me hated my guts. Because the funny thing about our powers is once you are bonded to them, you stop aging. Did you know that? Neither did I when I accepted them. None of us did. Until you pass them down, you are stuck as the way you are. Now imagine living every day, looking in the mirror and seeing the same face, the same eyes, the same hair, the same stupid face. I can't stand my face. Hey guys, we got... I've been staring at this wretched face for centuries. And every time I do, I see the day that I lost everything. And I want it all gone. This body, these powers, my, my life. I want my old life back. I want my family back. I want my mom. <laughs> They're all I have left. Nothing can ever replace blood. And we know that. But you do still have a family. Right here. And we're never gonna abandon you. What do you think we are? A bunch of quitters? Yeah, exactly. I mean, friends are family, no matter how long or how well we know. You know that a team is more than just people you're fighting with. They're also the people you're fighting for. Even though we don't see eye to eye, we know what happened wasn't your fault. Let us take that burden off your shoulders. Let's fight and win together as a family. And then let's Dom Toretto shows up. As a family. Why? Because I can see the shine in you. Buried by all the stuff you've been through. And we're going to dig it out. Tony is straight up an anime main character. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Will you fight with us? You win? Yeah. I'm in. I swear, they always wait for the emotional part. Let's go, Rangers! Right! right. Ah! Don't stop until you have them! This is great too. This is great too. Property of Master Aphelius, the Skybreaker. Enjoy your new lives as slaves. Oh, oh, somebody help, help! This guy right here. Nope. I'm going home. <laughs> Power Rangers. I was wondering when you would show back up. Then you even brought me the one I was looking for. How considerate. Weren't you the one who ran away first? This ends here, Scythia. We are going to destroy- Wait. We brought yours too, just in case. Very PR-esque. Randomly has the jacket. Wait a minute, put this on. Give us one minute, please. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Over there crying. Destroy them!
Okay. That music, though, it's going in. Getting all cocky now. Okay. Yo. Yo, he's behind you. They getting up. You better run. That was dope. That was dope. That was dope. very familiar to me like I, I know someone who looks like her but I, I can't think who it is nice Boy, it man. Are you all ready? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Master Ophelius. <laughs> Send the chimera. Seem to have lost my watch. Y'all know what time it is? It's market time. time. No. So gross. So gross. I can't end here. Send the swords. All of them. Yo, who are you talking to, though? Because th that is a question I do have. <laughs> so every Ranger team almost has some sort of person back at home base. Um, and I'm like, who Who was Tony talking to? Who? Like, send the swords. I'm like, is there a Jarvis in the Morpher? I mean, if there is, that's dope. But, like, I, I don't know. That's one thing I would like to know. Is, is there, like, a some sort of like robot or something or just a companion who is back at home base a collaboration between the generations one team and that's all we need we're going to need everyone to put everything they've got into it right Hold on rangers oh my god jim Valdez. we have the strength to save the jim world Valdez. oh rangers jim Valdez. Power Rangers, Jim Paladins, we have the strength to save the world. We have 
Strength save the world. There it is. Excellent. Yeah, baby. Another one down. Yes. Great job, everyone. Bro. He's not gonna win. She's half his size. She's fast. Five bucks. <laughs> Can you guys not bed in on us? No, keep doing it. It'll distract him. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> hey, why don't you go out there and join them? Oh, out there? No, no, I'm not really a fist fight person. I'm more of a like gun grapple. Oh, no, no I totally got you. M more of a jackhammer gal myself. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I've been meaning to ask though, what's the story behind it? Oh, I was like a miner on my home world. Aren't you like royalty or something? Uh, no, not, not professionally, just for fun. You see, our planet is literally made out of precious stones. Our suits and our morphers are literally made for mining. What? Jeez, I didn't even know the capability of all of our powers. Oh no, and like how some Earthians could have them? Yeah, something like that. Well, um, if you got any questions that need answers, I'll do my best. I've got a lifetime. Wow. All right. Sorry, man. I, oh. The song just hits. That's all I got to say. The, hung, the song just hits. Jim Paladins. We have the strength to save the world! Power Rangers, Jim Paladins, we have the strength to save the world! We have the strength to save the world! We have the strength to save the world! I don't know. All right. No. Okay. Bra. Oh. After credit. After credit. After credit. After credit. Ah, another giant monster attack. Maybe I should help them out. Nah. Maybe next time they survive. I don't. I don't know what season that's from. Uh. Okay. So. So, I don't know what to say. Like, that was great. Like, I, I have to give it to the cast and the crew, everyone who worked on this film, because... You can see the love and the passion behind it. Um, just all the way through it. Like, all the way through it. Like, um, there were some nit nitpicky things I had. Like, very, like, tiny things that were, like, production. Nothing in story. Nothing in acting. Nothing there. I absolutely love this project. I love the people who did it. I hope to one day work with this group um, on their upcoming projects. I really, really, really want to. Um, I love what they're doing. I love the heart behind it. And um, I cannot wait to see Rail Riders when they get done with that one. Um, that's the next one. That's going to be the Tokyuger adaptation, which I'm excited to see. Um, it makes me really want to jump back into Legacy and really tell that story. And, and we were we were talking about doing it as a, an audio drama. And I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like... 
uh, we, we have plans to move and we were going to move in this coming April, but we realized we need to extend it. So that gives me about a year and a half to really jump into it if I want to. And, and, and I do, I really want to see what we can do. And I, Justin and the, and the team at Xena films have lit a fire underneath me. So thank you guys so much for that. But, uh, Yo, that theme hits more now than I think it did the first time I heard it. The the film itself, I will say this, I that finale, you know, just the the Zord fight, the more fight there at the end, what I think it was stronger than than what it was at the beginning. And I I love this whole thing, but the second second and third halves, second and third parts of this are the strongest. And it sucks that YouTube would not let them use that footage because I think the strongest moment is in that third act. Um, also, the mixing got better in the third act. Like, the, the dub mixing got very... It, it sounded more... It didn't sound like a voiceover. It sounded like it belonged in that footage. And that's what I was getting at. Um, it's finding a way to make sure it doesn't sound like a voiceover but that's neither here nor there guys i loved it justin thank you for uh telling me about the project and and like letting me be letting me react to it and and welcoming me that way um i know a couple of things a lot of people don't know about what's coming up um and i'm excited to see where it goes, like I said, and, and I really want to work with this group. So they all seem really cool. I, I will say this. I feel I feel as if the characters Jules and Cyrus were like a combination of Corey Kenshin. <laughs> like if you were to take Jules and Cyrus and combine them, that would be Corey Kenshin. I, it's the vibe I kept getting the whole episode. The whole thing was that, man, the lighting is Bro, really, like, the, the lighting outside is, like, goofing up. But, oh, Tony reminded me a lot of Deku from My Hero. <clears throat> um, Crystal was very much that, like, dark, brooding character. Um, I, I don't remember the, hold on. Like, because I, I feel bad. I, I want to rehear the theme real quick, too. So, One more how dare you take this? One more time, just in the video. Tony, Julius, Amber, 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 and Jade. Okay. Are we ready? Ready? Everybody, sit with me. La la, Power Rangers, Jim Paladins. We have the strength to save the world. Power Rangers, Jim Paladins. Power Rangers, Jim Paladins. We have the strength to save the world. They have the strength to save the world. Oh, no, we're going back to it. Amber, Jade was very much that very kind, caring. Uh, she knew she had to fight evil, didn't want to get her hands dirty type of character. Amber was very much that tomboy who was like, I'm, you know, well, I'm, I'm going to get in the nitty gritty. I'm going to do this. Um, <laughs> uh, I loved it. I love every character in this one, and I cannot wait to see what happens in the next one. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Go check out Jim Paladins for yourself on their YouTube channel or go to their website. Uh, if you go to the YouTube channel and you look up the, the actual episode of Jim Paladins, there's a link in their description to the actual channel. And I'll make sure I put it I put it down here. It takes to the, your, their actual website where you can watch the full episode for free um, from beginning to end with that after credit scene. So you can experience for yourself, not just with me, but on your own without my loud mouth talking the whole time. Um, 
and let them know what you think. Like we need, this is the, we're, we're kind of in prime real estate right now for Power Ranger stuff. Cause we have, we just finished Dino Fury. We're getting Cosmic Fury plus like an MMPR special with that. And then they're like rebooting the whole franchise and we're going more dark from what I understand. Speaking of dark, the light's getting weird. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's so much happening. We're in prime real estate, and this fan film is probably my favorite fan film I've ever seen. And I like Unworthy. Don't get me wrong. I like Power Rangers Unworthy, but this doesn't feel like it's trying too hard. This feels like it knows what it is. It's homage to the show. It's homage to the, the Sentai. And we're not trying to get Dark Knight with it. We're not trying to get too crazy. This, to me, feels like it could have, with everything that, that they're doing, with what they're planning to do with the remainder of the Sentai going forward with this project. By the end of it, you could have an in-game level story with all these teams meeting up. That is what I want. With Unworthy, I get very much a post-apocalyptic, we're having a run for our lives type of thing. There isn't a Thanos threat. There's like a... The Arbiter is very weird for me. I like Unworthy, but... Jim Paladins has a place in my heart that I don't think any other fan film, even my own, I don't think Legacy could even feel that. This felt fun. It felt refreshed. It felt like they took something we all know and brought it to the modern day, um, but made it feel genuine. And so I want to thank Justin and the cast and crew one more time for this because this meant a lot to me i don't know if you could tell but majority of the video my face was lit up when the theme song hit i was like power rangers jim paladins like i don't think i felt that so long and i love dino fury and i don't think dino fury even did that to me a whole lot until the finale this one 30 minute episode did all of that i love it I'm going to stop rambling. This has been almost an hour long episode. Please go check out. Oh, please go check out their YouTube channel and their website and let them know how much you enjoyed it. Oh, I cannot stop talking about it. It was so good. So good. Jarvis, stop recording. I'll see you guys later.